How's it going, everyone? Today we got a story time of one of the cringiest kids ever, completely embarrassing himself in front of a girl in class by basically uh, telling her and everyone else that he is a Sigma Chad looks maxing, um, just like literally spamming internet words at her. Uh, and it's, it's, it's both like really embarrassing and hard to listen to, but also really funny. So I think you guys will enjoy this video. And with that being said, if you leave a like on the video right now, you will actually receive your very own free nothing, which is, uh, guys, I'm starting to run out of free nothing, so better claim it right now before I run out forever and leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new and like stories with notifications on so you never miss one again. And with that being said, let's just jump right into it. Anyways, right, so we're going to call the subscriber who submitted this story Jeff. And this is a very recent, a very fresh story. It happened very recently, actually. So anyways, there's a kid in Jeff's class who we're going to call Ben. I mean, of course we are. If you've been around the channel for more than a second, right, you already know that we're calling this kid Ben. Anyways, right, so we're going to call the second kid in the story Ben. And uh, Ben is, is the cringy kid in the story. Um, it, ben is the kid who is about to uh, woe his crush uh, with... Um, let's just say the worst possible ways ever. Like this might actually be one of the worst ways in the history of trying to convince someone to like you ever. Like this might be, guys, this is a, this is the play-by-play -play, like textbook of how not to do it. Like this is chapter seven, worst ways possible, section B, right? Right now, so pay attention, take out your pens and paper, uh, become very studious young gentlemen and ladies watching this, right? And anyways, so this all happened a couple weeks ago. So Jeff, the subscriber, he was sitting in class with his friends, and this kid, Ben, kind of came down and sit down next to them. So anyways, there's a girl in this class who we're going to call Lily, right? And uh, Ben, Ben apparently was a big fan. And so Ben sits down, and Ben and Jeff don't really hang out that much. They don't really talk to each other that much. So it's, you know, it's a little bit weird that Ben is sitting down talking to them at this moment. But, I mean, Jeff's not going to be a jerk about it. He's not going to, like banish him to the shadow realm or something like whatever right so he sits down and so sure enough you know ben sits down he's like hey like like he's like what's up boys like i just want to let you know that um today is gonna be the last day that lily will be on the market um after i'm uh, done rizzing her up i'm kind of i've been looks maxing for the last six months and I've been going to Rizzler's Academy, so I will exact, I will, there is a 0.0.0% chance that she will not be in love with me by the end of the day. So obviously when Jeff hears this, it's, uh, I don't know, like, I, I honestly don't know how the subscribers in these stories are able to keep their composure so well. Like, I genuinely don't know how they're able to not just dissolve into like just laughter at this point i really don't think that i'd be able to last more than 30 seconds hearing one of these stories that, like actually unfolding before me being able to keep my composure but somehow the subscribers i mean he's able to eke out a what did you say like what wh what did i what did i just hear like that that sentence like that that sentence was not english yeah so anyways right uh here here's the thing right here's the here's the situation Jeff kind of realized at this point that, um, I don't know, it just, it was probably not going to be a, it wasn't going to be good for Ben. And look, he wasn't friends with Ben, but he also wasn't like the worst enemy ever, right? He was <laughs> he wasn't like enemies with them, right? So he didn't want to see him fail, you know? He might not have been like the closest friend of Ben, but Jeff didn't want to see the poor guy fail, you know what I mean? He, he wanted him to be good. He wanted him to have a good life. He wanted him to live... He want like you know you know you know you know what I mean like he he didn't want to see this happen so he respectfully is like yo Ben dude you're the boy I don't know if this is I you might be rushing into it and Ben's like dude like I appreciate your concern you're also the boy you got to realize I haven't been looks maxing for the last six months for no reason like I have also been attending Rizzler's Academy which has cost me forty five dollars a month for the last five months. You think all that money's gone to waste? And Jeff just kind of looks at his boys, like, just kind of, like, looks at them from the side of his eye, just like, uh... Because, um, short answer is yes. <laughs> yes, that money went to waste, man. That money really went to waste. Especially after you hear what is about to go down. After you hear what's about to go down, um, uh... Yeah, you'd be pretty convinced that that money most definitely went to waste, because there's no way... Honestly, by the way that he acted... He should have been paying that, or they should have been paying him $45 a month. 
in like reparations for how bad they did my boy, my boy Ben, how bad they did him. You know what I mean? Anyways, though, so uh, Jeff is like, Jeff's not going to like go to his knees and be like, please, please, I, I beg you, man, please don't, please don't do this. Don't like, he's like, okay, like whatever. Yeah, so anyways, uh, Jeff's like, okay, dude, like, I'm not gonna stop you, but I really don't, I, I think you're rushing into it, like, yeah, go, like, talk to her, like, I'm, I'm not saying don't do that, actually, like, that's probably good, that's probably good, go and talk to her, but whatever you learned in this quote-unquote Rizzler's Academy, and I understand that you've been looks maxing, uh, well, well, whatever that's supposed to mean, he's like, yeah, I'm actually almost a level 10 giga chat, according to my Discord community, like, bro actually is in Discord community to, like, r- r- to, to rank his, like, looks maxing prestige. Bro, what? Like, what's going on right now? Anyways, though. Um, so, yeah, sure enough, the subscriber is kind of just like, dude, okay. Uh, I really don't think that um, you're... I, I don't think this is a good idea. But he's like, look, go talk to her. But also, do what you want to do. And maybe you know better than me. Because, like, you know, okay, 1% of Jeff was like, okay, maybe uh, in this Riz- <laughs> Rizzler's Academy. Come on, man. Come on. Anyways, he's like, maybe in this Rizzler's Academy, maybe he did actually become a, uh, so good with the game that he's able to pull this off perfectly. I mean, that's definitely not the case, but maybe, even though I would bet all my money and everything I own and everyone I love against that being true, but maybe I can't rule it out until it's either happened or hasn't happened, right? I I can't really rule it out, you know? So anyways, Jeff is like, okay, whatever, like, do you got to do, but I just got to, like, I just got to make it known that I said don't do this, just so Jeff himself can have his own peace of heart and peace of mind, that he at least tried. Anyways, though, so what is about to unfold is, uh, it's bad, man. It's bad. I don't know how else to say it other than, oh, God. Oh, no. Yeah, so, uh, I know I already said leave a like in the video for your free nothing, but if you made this far into the video, I'm extending to you another offer. Leave a like on this on this video right now, and you will receive your very own pair of cringe goggles that, as soon as you leave a like, they're invisible, by the way, but as soon as you leave a like on the video, they will be immediately attached to your head so that you can survive the following. Anyways, assuming that you've done that, let's jump exactly into what, uh, into what exactly, uh, what exactly transpired, which, uh, wasn't great. Really wasn't great, guys. Anyways, so later on in that class period... You know, uh, Ben, or sorry, not Ben, Jeff is still with his friends, and he's, like, watching as Ben, who's sitting in front of him, is on his, like, iPad in class, and he's looking up, like, Sigma edits to get him, like, hyped up or whatever, and you can, like, he has his earbuds in, he's, like, ear, earbud, earbuds, I'm so stupid, his earpods or his earbuds or whatever that he has in, you can kind of hear that it's on, like, he has them in, but it's on full blast, you can hear, like, the Sigma funk music or whatever, (laughs) dude actually thinks that's gonna get him hyped up, dude actually thinks that watching a Sigma edit is gonna make him completely irresistible to the ladies, dude actually thinks that doing that is gonna make a significant change in his mood, like, bro, what? Anyways, though, so, uh, it's, next period is launch period. And at this point, you know, Jeff didn't know for 100% fact that that's when that was going down. But Jeff basically knew that if something was going to go down, it would be most likely during lunch period. Like, most likely that would be when blank hits the fan, if you know what I mean. Anyways, right, so sure enough, the, you know, the subscriber goes into lunch with his friends. And he's kind of, like, telling his friends, like, do you think that, like, Ben's going to do his, like, whatever thing, like, today, like, at lunch? Do you think he's going to pull it off then? His friends were like, God, I hope not. I, I hope that, like, in the between the time of right now, aka lunch, and the time that he announced all the things he announced, they're kind of hoping that within that time period, he was able to have a, well, what should we call it? A moment of reflection, a moment of introspection, a moment of really just, I don't know, maybe third person uh, analysis of what's going on, really thinking to himself, okay. If I go up to this girl, Lily, who kind of doesn't know who I am, and at least has never really talked to me, and I go up to her and I I do all the things and say all the things that I learned in my uh, Sigma Rizzing school that I pay money for for some reason, maybe... Well, do you think that's actually going to work? But unfortunately, guys, well, I guess guess fortunately for you, because you have a more entertaining story, but unfortunately for Ben, 
And for anyone who is uh, witnessing this without their cringe goggles, which you can still get by leaving a like, by the way, or if you're on Spotify rating the podcast five stars, you immediately get them strapped under your head forever if you rate it five stars. Anyways, uh, yeah, poor, poor those people because they're about to endure quite, quite a moment. Lunch. They're sitting down. The subscriber's sitting down with his friends. And he kind of knows, he's kind of like paying attention to where like Luli is in the room with her friends. Um, just because he's just like, okay, on the off chance that uh, Ben decides to go through with this, I kind of want to know where it's going down so that I can witness. He's like, hey man, like, I'm sorry, like, but I do have to see it. Like, come on now. Anyways, though, so yeah, sure enough, the subscriber, he's, wa- he's kind of like witnessing all this and he's uh, watching as the doors open up and in walks Ben. And oh God, in walks Ben. Because Ben... He has, like, Ben has a friend, um, I guess you could say a partner in crime after this goes down, a partner in the crime of committing maximum cringe, which is 15 death sentences, a, uh, what, what are those things in Harry Potter? Uh, the things that, like, kiss you and take your soul? Uh, what are those? Like a death eater? I don't know. Yeah. Well, a kiss from one of those, and then also just being taken in the back and beaten with a stick. Like, that is the punishment for, for committing max cringe, bro. Anyways, though. So uh, we're going to call this kid Ben, too. He's not super important in the story, but I have to reference him a few times. So the doors open up, and immediately you hear this Sigma Funk music blasting. Like, you know all the stuff that you'd hear when it's, like, the Andrew Tate shorts and then, like, the, the Sigma edits or whatever, like, whatever, like, funk music, whatever type thing? You just hear that. You just hear that stuff, bro. You literally just hear that blasting. So Ben, too, is holding a... Sp- <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm just imagining this going down, bro. Why was my school so normal in comparison to you guys? You guys actually have insane kids at your school. Anyways, though, so, yes, Ben 2 is holding the speaker as uh, Ben 1, the main Ben, walks in, and he's strutting in. I think it is, like, a Sigma edit looks maxing mega chad whatever classes. He learned, like, the power strut. And if you strut in like this, the ladies will literally become waterfalls. Don't ask me what that means. Go, oh God, please. Anyways, though, so he's like, he's strutting in, but he's like walking super weird. I think he's trying to like alpha, alpha ties his walk. I don't know what that means. So he's like swinging his arms back and forth to like assert dominance or something, but it just kind of makes him look like he has some kind of like, his, his like legs are locked or whatever. It looks like that there's something not quite normal with him is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, so anyways, right, sure enough, uh, everyone in the, in the lunchroom, they kind of stop what they're doing, and they just, like, pay attention, because, like, dude, if I'm in the lunchroom, and someone walks in all funny with, like, Sigma music going, dude, I'm going to pay attention, like, I don't know about you guys, but there's no shot I don't pay attention, and, dude, I, like, uh, the subscriber, Jeff, was trying to explain to me in words the, like, kind of the look of dread and then horror on Lily's face as she starts to realize that, Ben, who's doing his weird Alpha Sigma walk with the crazy funk music, is slowly but surely approaching her. And it's just kind of like, he's kind of like, at first he's heading in her direction, and she's like, wait a minute. And then he's heading in her direction, but maybe he could be going to a bunch of other people. But the closer and closer he gets to her, the more and more obvious that it could, it's more likely to be her. It's like, there's 10 people he could be walking towards, so 10% chance of her. Then there's five people that he could be walking towards. So 20% chance of her. And then three people that he could be walking towards. So 33% chance of her. And then two people. And that's when you realize it's most likely her. Anyways, so so eventually he stops at her table and uh, he's like, silence, he yells at Ben, like an all alpha tone or whatever. Cause you know, I, I don't know, to assert his alphaness. He learned that at like Rizzler's Academy or something. So Ben like turns off the funk music. At this point, the silence is deafening. Real quick, if you made it this far into the video, comment, uh, uh, well, what would you guys comment? Comment um, Giga Chad down below or comment Chad. Either one works. That'll be the secret word of the day. It'll let me know how many or the names and faces of people who made this far into the video as I do appreciate you. Obviously, if you're in, or not obviously, if you're on YouTube, make sure you have notifications on, not just subscribed. Uh, as YouTube sometimes doesn't let you know when I post new stories. So you want to have those notifications on to make sure that you always know when I post stories. If you're on Spotify, make sure you have follow the podcast and rate it at five stars. I really do appreciate that. And finally, I just want to say a big shout out to the people who binge watch these stories, either on YouTube or Spotify or both or wherever you watch them.
them, right? If you sit down and watch these stories for a really long time, like watching a bunch of stories or watching one of my compilations, it really does help out the channel. So I just want to say thank you and comment down below. What do you, what do you guys even do while watching my stories? I'm genuinely curious about that. Yeah, so anyways, uh, sure enough, Ben is, like, waiting at the table. And, oh, my God. <laughs> so, yeah, so he's, like, he looks at Ben, too, who's his little minion friend. And Ben, too, like, throws a ball at him, and Ben catches it. And then he, like, extends his arm so that he's holding the ball after catching it in front of, like, Lily's face. And he's, like, caught that. Don't worry about that. Like, I got you, ladies. Like, don't worry about it. <laughs> God, it's so bad. It's honestly so bad. Ah! So, because I think he saw some, like, video about that. He's like, oh, that's super, like, oh, my God. I just, like, saved the damsel in distress. She must love me now. But it doesn't work if she's, okay, it doesn't work in general. But especially it doesn't work if she watches you catch the ball and then extend the ball in front of her face as if you, quote, unquote, caught it before hitting her face. But you obviously didn't because she watched the whole thing. So at this point, you're just being even more cringe than you already are. Like, dude, I didn't think that was possible, man. I think you're breaking the fifth law of cringe dynamics. It's a, it's a physical law. You can't break this law, but you just did. Does that mean that there's something beyond the speed of light that we can travel? Have you broken Einstein's theory of relativity? Man, what? Anyways, um, maybe someone will use that in some physics proof to prove that we're all just on inside of a cat's litter box in another dimension. But anyways, though, uh, he goes on to say, hello, ma'am, and he, like, bows. And, like, Lily's just watching him. And uh, at this point, it's just like, oh, my God. What did this Rizzler Academy teach you, and why did you pay $40 a month for it, dude? Like, oh, my God. Anyways, he's like, he's <laughs> it's so bad. He's like, he's like, like, hello, Lily. Will you be my girlfriend? And she's like, what? And he's just like, you got to be kidding me. Get it? Ha, <laughs> ha, because he said it like G-Y-A-T-T. -T. You got to be dead silence. It's so bad. It's so bad. Yeah, so sure enough, right, the subscriber is kind of just watching this all go down, and he doesn't know if he'll be able to survive this. So it's dead silence. Like, Lily, like, it, it just is like, what? And at this point, Penn is like, um, um, uh, uh, it, it's, it, I guess this is his peak Riz is just like stuttering and not saying anything. And at this point, I think Ben is starting to have the realization of how Rizzler's Academy was probably a joke that he got scammed into paying $40 a month for. Um, and uh, that's when, so Ben quickly starts to turn around. But I think Ben too, like, wasn't really like aware of the situation. I think he instructed Ben too to play like the Sigma Funk music as he was walking out, because I think in Ben's mind he would have absolutely rizzed up the Betty, like, and she would have been in love with him, and everyone would have seen how he was so smooth and awesome. So let me have a walkout song after my epic victory, right? When in reality, Ben too just starts playing the Sigma Funk music as Ben won like starts to run away because he's just like it's so embarrassed and start it's like it's like it's like instantaneously starting to catch up with him how embarrassing his actions are and it's like he started to realize within seconds of like how bad he just like how bad it is right just how bad it is right now um but unfortunately Ben too didn't realize like what was actually going on in the situation so he's like playing the Sigma Funk music as Ben One is like sprinting out of the cafeteria. And Ben One is like, turn off that music, turn off that music. And Ben Two's like, what? Because it's like the music's too loud. And it's so bad. It's so bad. It's so bad. Guys, I, I, I guess like one thing you can learn is if you attend something called Rizzler's <laughs> if you attend something called Rizzler's Academy, I think you've uh, I think you're already you're already lost. You've already started off in a bad spot. Yeah, so after that point, the lunchroom immediately explodes in a conversation, and the subscriber, Jeff, kind of looks at his friends, and it's just like, dude, like, I knew it was going to be bad, but I didn't know it was going to be that bad. What the fuck?